The game is Cosmic Avenger. How's that for a red title? This is a 1982 release for the ColecoVision based on the 1981 arcade machine. Cosmic Avenger is regarded as the first continuous, horizontally scrolling spaceship shooter. And as you can see, the gameplay is very similar to the excellent Scramble, mixed with the radar screen from Defender. I've never seen the arcade machine, but the game looks and plays quite well on the ColecoVision. You shoot enemies with your flintlock spaceship rifle, which fires at the speed of a snail stuck in superglue. Fortunately, you can also bomb enemies, which is your more effective weapon. You can even bomb air targets, which I recommend because it's cool. Hitting the enemy air targets with the guns on this thing is damn near impossible, but you want to get rid of them if you can because they will shoot at you. Also watch out for those yellow missiles on the ground. Sometimes they'll fire at you and chase down your spaceship. Basically, Cosmic Avenger is a straightforward old school spaceship shooter. There are better horizontally scrolling spaceship shooters out there, but few of them are as raw as this one. Like Scramble, it will give you a punishing yet rewarding challenge, especially if you like scoring points. Those purple things on the ground look like beakers. Even though they're shooting missiles at me, my theory is that they're growing aliens inside of them. Just when it seems like Cosmic Avenger doesn't take you anywhere interesting, the landscape changes and all of a sudden you're shooting some kind of truck on the ground. But watch out for the spaceships because they are irritating and will shoot you. But if you're super cool, you can sometimes convince the Moon Patrol buggy on the ground to shoot the spaceships accidentally. Ha <laughs> ha! When that happens, I get the same thrill that I get when the robots shoot each other in berserk. We've made it out of the Moon Patrol stage into the Ice Cavern. Now you've got to watch out for enemies above you and those irritating pink missiles hogging the airspace. Cosmic Avenger may not seem all that exciting today because just about every other side-scrolling spaceship shooter has similar elements, but this was one of the first. And if you enjoy old school classic spaceship shooters like Scramble, Defender, and Vanguard, then you should definitely check out Cosmic Avenger. The game cartridge is relatively easy to find on eBay and doesn't cost all that much. If you uh, check out my review of Scramble on the Vectrex, you'll see the similarities between the two games. After you make it through the Ice Cavern, the game starts from the uh, cityscape at the beginning, and you go through the levels again, except it's harder. Like other ColecoVision games, there's four difficulty settings. I actually completely forget what setting I'm playing on here. Probably the second or third. I'm playing this using the Atari 7800 gamepad, but you do need a ColecoVision controller plugged into slot 2 to start the game using the number pad. Please notice, because this is an important part of the storyline, that the ground, uh, for whatever planet this is, has changed from red plaid to purple plaid. That's the power of Cosmic Avenger. If you keep flying and scoring points and kicking ass on your ColecoVision, the ground will again return to red! My theory is that the aliens being grown in the beakers are telepathically changing the ground matter. Red means fear. Purple means concern. If it turns yellow, that means they're in love with you. It's Cosmic Avenger for the ColecoVision.